Welcome back to the Cognac Jewelry School. Today we're making a cabochon pair ring, like this one. For this project, you will need a pear-shaped cabochon gemstone, a sheet of silver, some bezel strip, and a length of half round silver wire. To make the bezel setting for this gemstone, we're simply going to bend the bezel strip all the way around the stone, making sure it's nice and snug, and mark the point where the two ends meet with a scribe. Remove any excess bezel strip with a pair of snips and file the ends flat until they come together without any gaps to create a perfect join. Put your setting flat on a fire brick and paint with a flux of your choice. I'm using borax here, but any flux will do. Place one piece of hard solder so it crosses the join and solder, making sure to keep a pokey stick on hand just in case your solder falls off. Quench your setting before popping it in the pickle. While your setting is in the pickle, it's time to make the ring. Find your ring size and it's time to do some maths. Measure the internal diameter of your ring, add to it the thickness of your metal, and multiply that figure by pi. Of course, if you don't have a ring sizer, don't worry. There are a few different ways to measure your ring size, and there's a link in the description to a video showing different options. When you've calculated the length of the wire you need, mark the length with a vernier gauge or a ruler, and sort a size. Round off your ring on a mandrel, and file the ends to bring them together neatly. Then push them together and gently saw through the unsoldered join so that the ends meet seamlessly. An in-depth tutorial on how to do this is linked in the description. Next, flux your ring and put one piece of hard solder over the join and solder. Quench, and with any luck, your setting will be ready to remove from the pickle as your ring goes in. Bring your setting over to your bench, and now is the time to check that your stone actually fits. Once the setting is fitting snugly and you can breathe a sigh of relief, file the bottom edge on a piece of emery paper and we're ready to solder it onto the back plate. Place a cotter pin on your fire brick, followed by your sheet of silver, some flux, and finally your setting. Place your solder flat side down around your setting and solder. Once your solder has run and you can see a shiny solder line all the way around your join, quench and pickle. At this point, your ring should be ready to take out. Round it off on a ring mandrel using a hide mallet and flatten on a steel block. File your join to remove any excess solder using a flat file for the outside and a rounded file for the inside before putting it to one side and removing your setting from the pickle. Now for the tricky bit the sawing. The aim is to try and saw as close to your setting as possible without sawing through your bezel strip. Take it slowly and don't worry if there's a border of silver around the edge. We'll file it back afterwards. Once you've sawed out your setting, file any excess silver sheet down using a flat file. Follow the curve of your setting and be careful not to overfile the thin walls of your bezel strip. File until the wall of your setting is completely flat and you can't see the silver back plate from the bezel strip sides. Now for the moment of truth. Check that your stone still fits in your setting. And, and here's the kicker, it comes back out again. A blob of blue tack really helps with this. With this type of setting, we need to make sure that we have the right height for the setting of our stone. If the walls of your setting are too high, you'll end up covering too much of your gemstone and we don't want that. I like to use emery paper to file down the walls, but you can also use a regular file. Just don't forget to keep checking the setting so that you don't take it too far. Now that you've made the two parts of your ring, we're going to polish them using emery sticks or emery sponge. And if you're wondering why we're polishing before we solder them together, it's because it's much easier to polish them separately than to get in and around the join once they're together. Work your way up the grits from coarsest to finest, inside and out. Once shining, file a flat section on the top of your ring shank and solder, quench, check your join to make sure you're happy, and pickle. Once your ring is clean, stick it in the barrel polisher for a quick shine before setting. Today I'm setting using a ring vise, two burnishers and a pusher. Using your pusher, begin by moving the metal in towards the stone a little at a time. You might have to go around your stone a few times, which is absolutely fine. Just be really careful not to crimp the metal at the point of your pair. Once your silver is touching your gemstone all the way around, smooth it out with your burnishers. Finish by polishing your setting with a white polishing pad to really bring out the shine. And voila! A beautiful silver cabochon pair ring. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you all again very soon.